things still getting a little out of hand, even as these two teams were shaking hands. And Bowling Green's got to be careful not to respond here. But you do not like to see this. Surprise, surprise. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Get the merch. Link in the description section. Code is merch in the game. We have this shirt here uh, that's called Back by Popular Demand. And then we have the shirt that I normally wear in my other videos, which is my favorite, to be honest. It's called He Has Risen. Now, He Has Risen goes up the shirt like this. You can see it on the website. Fire. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications. Anytime I go live, make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you watch the video all the way to the end or watch as much as you can because that pushes the algorithm. I'm going to try to make it entertaining. Just bear with me. All right, now, I, I, I had to make a video about this. Everybody making a video about it, and I know that people that follow me want to see my take on this particular incident. So the young lady who's playing basketball uh, from Memphis, the Memphis guard, ended up punching the white girl in the face. Let me show you the clip real quick. Um, we'll blur it out because we don't want to get banned. But they're walking. They're doing a little cordial halftime handshake. It's called not being a sore loser. It's called it don't matter what the score is. You have what they call you need to have decorum and be able to be a team player. There's a word that I'm looking for, but I can't think of it. Sportsmanship. There it go. Right back in the memory bank sportsmanship now let's watch what happens in a case of poor sportsmanship now let's go back I, I, I'm, I'm a police investigator so I tried to see did this girl say something crazy to her or was she already beefing so while you watching this I want you to watch the girl right here which is the white girl Watch and see if she do anything that looks as if she provoked one of the girls on the team. Don't look like she provoked her initially, but obviously there was words exchanged. She punched her in the face. Now, this is some acting from the WWE because that little punch, she, she just gave her a little, ah, a little ah. She ain't even put no no hip behind it. She just gave a little ah, and she rolling on the ground. So it's a little bit of acting going on here, but this is unsportsman like. Now, why are you making this video, Mr. Tatum? I just want to point this out, and I want people to take this into consideration. She got charged with assault, rightfully so. A lot of people gonna come out and say. Man, they didn't do because she black. They, she wasn't black. I, I just, I, I want black people to do better. You may have lost the game. The, the girl may have said something crazy to you. But why is it? And show me a video and, I'll, I, and I, will, I will send you a, a $20 on PayPal. Show me a video where, and, and I'm going to say modern. Don't go back 100 years ago. Show me a recent video where a, a white girl on the basketball team just hauls off and hit a black girl in the mouth. Knock her, knock her down just like this girl did. Show me. Show me that. On the basketball court, show me that. The, the problem that I have is that we need to start addressing these things, right? We need to start addressing these things because our young women should conduct themselves with a better rep representation of having decorum having sportsmanship because when they do stuff like this it furthers the narrative of the angry black woman the young girl got a crazy name spell a name out crazy it just furthers the stereotype so if you want other people to see you differently to believe you to be different y'all got to stop doing this and i'm not saying your actions speak for every black person in america but you better not complain about anybody judging you because you're living up to the stereotype. Let me go down the um, let me go down and read a little bit of this article so you can see what, what happened. It says Brett uh, crumbled down, a uh, crumbled to the court in pain and was later seen 
uh, in tears. According to the police document, police noticed swelling in her right eye. The school said Friday, though, that she will recover and is doing well. It's still unclear what sparked the altercation. The police investigation is ongoing. And I would argue that it ain't, it don't matter. You shouldn't be acting like this because she didn't act like this with you. Okay. Um, Bowling Green, I guess that's one of the universities. I think it's Bowling Green. I think that's the acronym there. Y'all can't see it because it's too small. Bowling Green added in a statement also uh, conducting in our own review into the matter saying a violence is never acceptable or a priority um, priority remains the health, safety, and support of our student athletes. Neither Schutz or Brett uh, has public comments at all. Memphis University did release a statement on Friday indicate extremely unfortunate and uh, certainly not consistent with or representative of our expectation for our program and student athletes. All right. That pretty, that pretty much is the end of it. I'd like to see what excuse come out. Now, if you're watching at this point, you finna get some more information. How much you want to bet that there's a claim that there was a racial slur being projected? How much you want to bet? Now, if there's a claim that a racial slur was projected, just like the other girl in at BYU, Ain't nobody saying nothing race to that girl. It was, it was She made it up. If she claimed that, I'm going to make another video. And I guarantee you it's bull crap. Because in 2023, ain't no girl going to in front of everybody call her the N-word. All right, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, go get your merch from the store. Like, subscribe to the channel. Let me know your comments on this situation. Should she have been charged or should this be, hey, brush it under the rug? I'll see you on the next one. I'm out. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, I put out three videos a day. So make sure you go to the uh, playlist that says new video and watch more videos. Subscribe to this channel. Let's go, baby.